Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we're on December 23rd, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Two days till Christmas. And we've got many sunspots to talk about right away. We're going to be looking at the sun as we have three sunspots that have fired up. Two of them equatorial and earth facing. One of them you can see there in the southern region. That one is the most active, actually, when you're looking at it here in a different light. Looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, able to see the plasma around the sun, jumping from the sun, and as well, those bright sunspot regions. So stay aware and prepared. We may have some space weather heading our way. A little bit of energy coming from these sunspots and as well, equatorial coronal hole. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours and it's been pretty busy. Largest earthquakes being here in South America, the largest 5.8 and as well a 5.8 in uh, Marianas Trench. You can see the long line of earthquakes as well. The Dominican Republic earthquake swarm happening there. 5.8 here in Ocos, Guatemala. And as well, a notable 5.2 earthquake, Port Hardy, Canada. That's right, 10 kilometer depth. And I said, watch this region over the uh, my last video. Uptick in seismicity throughout Cascades. And as well, we got 5.4 here in Russia, so it is happening. And then we have the 5.8 Marianas Trench, Micronesia. Now this is right in the region where Tropical Typhoon Fanphone, I believe it is, Fanphone, Phone Fan, one of the two, is churning. So stay aware and prepared, friends and family in Canada. There was a tsunami alert put out, but no tsunami is imminent. Going now into South America, 4.8 there. Chile, as well, 4.2 in Turkey. Now, Turkey is dealing with a lot of heavy snow right now. Very strange for that region as well. Higher elevations receiving over 200 centimeters. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. We've had a lot of deep ones recently. Hence, the larger, shallower earthquakes that we're seeing. Port Hardy, Guatemala, and Russia. So stay aware and prepared. We do have some space weather coming as well. And that could raise the level in seismicity, especially in Cascadia region and Central America. These are very busy plate lines recently. West side ring of fire, east side ring of fire. Let's go to Pacific Disaster Center here. Disaster alerts from around the world. And I'm seeing a, a map that is peppered with disaster icons. Extreme cold, northern Canada, northwest territories, Yukon. But as well, all the flooding conditions throughout southeastern United States as that tropical depression that came from the Pacific Ocean is now creating somewhat of a superstorm for Florida Panhandle and as well southeastern states, South Carolina, North Carolina, as it quickly heads east into the Atlantic Ocean looking like a hurricane. Just looking at this satellite imagery here over northern Florida and Alabama, the center of the low is very strong, vigorous, and looks like a hurricane. So stay aware, prepared. There were tornado warnings throughout South Florida, Northern Florida, but a lot of moisture is associated with this. And as well, a lot of moisture and snow hitting Western Rockies, a lot of avalanche alerts straight from uh, Little Yoho National Park into Jasper, as far south as Washington and as well northern Utah as there's just been days after days of heavy snow in the higher elevations 
And as well, here is the alert for the tsunami alert 5.2 earthquake, Port Hardy, Canada. So friends and family throughout the holidays, I know if you're going to be out there skiing, avalanche warnings across the Rockies, so stay safe. God bless. Looking here, winter storm warning in Peru. As well, winter storm warning in Turkey. Albania, Romania, Poland. High winds flooding throughout France. As that tropical storm, I forget what the name was. It's always a European name. Headed into the uh, western uh, Western Europe. Looking there, you had extreme cold in India. And here's tropical cyclone Fanfone, who is going to be heading west into the Philippines, making landfall Tuesday into Wednesday. So a Christmas Day cyclone for the Philippines. Notable 5.8 earthquake right around it. I really hope you're enjoying the videos that I provide for you. Again, thanks to all of my friends and family watching. Again, stay safe. We're going to be looking here at the next 10 days for our snowfall across North America. Heavy, heavy amounts on the coastline, British Columbia. Up to 250 centimeters of fresh white powder heading towards the Rockies. You can see straight across the West Pacific. It's just a funnel of snow heading straight from Russia to Canada. And the other heaviest amounts of snow, the Atlantic provinces, 40 centimeters. And then this notable 230 centimeters of snow falling in Turkey over the next 10 days. Dots and prayers going out to everybody worldwide. As we have extreme weather that is affecting the planet, we have extreme cold in areas that are not used to it. And as well, heavy snowfall, where the topography is not even used to it. So watch for heavy runoff and flash flooding. As well, Iceland still getting the snow. Let's get to Meteor Earth, five-day forecast, brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Looking at the next five days over the Pacific Ocean and following the track of Tropical Cyclone Fanfone. Watch as it might actually redevelop towards Thailand and the South China Sea later in the week. Five-day forecast shows it getting pretty big. So we're going to keep an eye on that cyclone as well. Northern Pacific. All of these very moisturous and cold lows are heading out from Russia and straight across the Aleutian Islands and into Alaska. High pressure polar vortex, not letting any of these systems head north, but definitely fueling these cold, these low pressure systems with minus 48 degrees Celsius in parts of Siberia and Russia. You can see they're starting to fuel down into Alaska, minus 38, the maximum there, or minimum. So watch on the BC coastline as this low pressure system heads from Alaska course bringing 200 centimeters of snow towards the coastline but as well heavy snow mounts straight down to the border with the United States and then watch as this tropical depression forms and then quite possibly could be forming a super storm in the Gulf this has been a reoccurring scenario systems heading from the Pacific through Utah and Nevada and then heading into the Gulf gaining strength like this. So late season Atlantic hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean, creating an atmospheric river straight from Cuba to Ireland. Look at the size of this system later in the week. We're going to be keeping an eye on that. Pretty crazy stuff, guys. Much love to you all. Again, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate all of your viewership. Overlooking uh, Australia, 
We do have some relief coming towards the fire-stricken regions of New South Wales, but the heat across Western Australia will not stop. You can see that turning black. That is over 55 degrees Celsius. But you can see here, coming days, there is rain coming towards Southeastern Australia, straight up the coastline. As well, watching a possible tropical cyclone forming, heading towards Vanuatu later in the week. Very large low pressure system here. Going to be keeping an eye on that as well. So, extreme weather across the planet continues to grow. Thanks for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the rest of the weather maps. Of course, the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere and these huge atmospheric rivers stretching straight across the planet, keeping an eye on these large storms. Thanks for watching today. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Talk to you soon. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.